This is the ring row. Sarah's gonna go ahead and perform five reps facing the camera. This is how we teach the ring row. Sarah, I want you to go ahead and place your feet, walk your feet out away from your body. Yep, keep the rings close. Go ahead and lay back and go into a reverse plank. Okay, so I want that nice hollow body position. And I want you to try and pinch your shoulder blades together in the back. Okay, that's where you're gonna start your ring row. Now, keeping your hands and your palms facing one another, I want you to pull to your chest. That's your go-to. And then back down, plank. Good, that's your finished position. Go ahead and do a few reps for us. Palms facing one another, pinch the shoulder blades. Great job. What we're looking for out of the ring row is that the athlete maintains a nice hollow body position. We're not pulling to the chest by lifting the chest, but rather we're pulling to the chest by pulling the scaps together, the shoulder blades together and we're pulling as deep towards our belly button as we possibly can while maintaining a hollow position. So if you take a look at how Sophie does it, go ahead and walk the feet out. Go into a reverse plank, pull the shoulder blades together. Beautiful, now pull low, as low as you can, and you'll notice that she pulls to her chest rather than breaking at the chest to pull to the rings. So try and pull your chest towards the rings. And you guys can see the difference there. Her rib cage kind of flares up towards the ceiling we wanna maintain that nice hollow body position so she's tight through the core and everything remains neutral. And that is the ring row.